Do you ever wish that you had an instruction manual for all those insignificant moments in your life? Somewhere that answers the questions you've always thought but never bothered to ask? Well, we're here to help you navigate the nuances of everyday interactions, and today we'll be teaching you how to walk through a door. So grab your knitting needles and a blanket because it's time for three old friends to sit around and sew a new patch into their quilt of life. So join me, Dion, under the covers with Christian. Welcome to Patchwork. And Josh. Welcome to Patchwork. The Oxford Dictionary defines a door as a hinged, sliding or revolving barrier at the entrance to a building, room or vehicle in the framework of a cupboard. But, <laughs> but is it? A door is so much more. A door can stop the sound of a snore. A door can stop you from seeing gore. But how does a door do this when a door seldom touches the floor? <laughs> the door is not a carnivore, yet a door could keep out a tyrannosaur. <laughs> a door is a door, that's for sure. <laughs> um, so, at, at work, <laughs> um, we just moved into a new office at work. And it's my first experience with a big, one of those big revolving doors. And I've never been in the presence of one of these doors before on such a, a sort of ah, a regular basis. So you're in a big building, I take it's it now. It's a big building, big building moved into the big smoke. You're in, you're <laughs> in the a, central business district. Yeah, full of smoke. <laughs> it's hell. But big glass revolver. Big glass revolver with yep. the little with the little um little moustache at the bottom. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. Little bristles yeah. at the bottom. Can you yeah, clean great. your shoes with them? I think so. I do it. I do that on escalators, yeah. right? You shove them in the corner. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. yeah, that and the smoke. But anyway, <laughs> um, and so the, I feel like whenever I'm walking through that the revolving door, it's like a game. Of, you know, remember that board game Operation? Was it yes. called Operation? Mm, yes. Where you're if you one touch yeah. and you've uh, murdered someone. Yeah. I think that's how it works. But yeah. with this, one touch and the door stops, and yes. you look like a complete and utter fool. Yeah. So what's your approach, Dean? As you mm. as you're getting to that door. Yep. You can see it revolving. You know you know by now that a touch ends in death. Yes. So, what do you wait for? You wait... Well, if it's just you, it's relatively easy, right? It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a straightforward concept. Mm-hmm. If it's just you, you're walking through the door and you're fine. I'm wanting to get in as early as possible. So, I'm wanting to yeah. get on the swing. Josh and I understand this stuff. This, yeah. is, this is efficiency. So, so, say that the door is opening and it just clears... Yeah. You know, the panel, the panel clears to yep. the open air. Yep. Yep. How far along that rotation, <laughs> let's say it's a third of a piece of the pie. Oh. Is it ver- is it in the middle of it or are you getting in uh, as it's uh, past you? As early as uh, if I can, I, I want to get in the next. What's that so, called? Se- what is it? I'd say Segment? carriage. Carriage. <laughs> carriage. So you're starting on like the right hand side. And as soon as you've got some space, you're charging to the left. Right? 100%. Yeah, going very, very sharp left. Okay. Yeah, and okay. you know, it's uh, that, that, that's that's agility I learned as a kid in <laughs> physical education classes and all that yep. sort of stuff. But what was interesting the other day is that I was walking with a colleague and someone from another com- company, oh God. they decided to tr- to get in. What would we call Three. it? The segment, the carriage, the carriage. They decided to. They <laughs> I decided don't like to, carriage. Yeah. No. Slice of the pie. Slice, slice, the, slice oh, of the pie. No, that's be- That's better. So you're go- you would prefer <laughs> to say slice of the pie no, for the rest of this? No, because the, the revolving door is much more like a pie chart than a, yeah, than I, a I train. I understand that it looks more like a pie. I'm just saying that for the purpose of this conversation, carriage is it easier look, to say. It doesn't look like a carriage. Is it? Is it transporting people from one place to another? <laughs> no, it's not transporting anything. You're walking on a floor. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Does, <laughs> a revo- does it doesn't, it, The floor doesn't move. Hang on, hang on. Does okay. the revolving door... Tra- it does, you don't think it transports anything? No. It allows you're, you're for movement. Walking. All it does is block stuff. But what's transport? Is it that yeah, allowing, for, allowing for movement or movement? The revolving door does not move anything. It does not transport anything. <laughs> you simply walk through that space and it's an airlock. Okay, so a car- let's just say that a carriage is something that moves through space. <laughs> <laughs> On this earth. Okay, call, okay. call it slice of pie. Thank Fine. You. So, slice of pie. So um, Quadrant. Oh, there you go. No, it's no. That's what's no. a tri- trident. Tri- trident. Oh wow. Ah, this is rough. Okay, go, carry <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, go, anyway. Go, go, go. So, so this, so someone from another company decided to join us. I like quadrant in the quadrant. <laughs> so you were three, three, and so and mm. then what happened was we were mid mid cycle. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, I'll yes, get the terminology yes, right. Yeah. We're mid cycle, <laughs> and um and I must have touched the door. Mm. The door stopped, got a massive glare oh. from the third guy coming but, in. But no. also you get the massive glare from everyone else who's in the robot in the other they quadrants. All, they all and it's and it's it's the sign 
it really is the universal sign that you're an idiot. If you, you, know if, if you can't handle that door, if you, if you can't go, walk through it, you're an idiot. But can I say, Dion, the third person who joined you, it's their fault. You can't overstuff a quadrant. Also, mm. how many seconds is you are you waiting for the next yeah. carriage? It, it, yeah. is, <laughs> it is ludicrous how... Four seconds, right? Do you know what annoys me the most about a revolving door? Is when you're with someone and you're having a conversation and you might be approaching the revolving door first and you walk in and the other, people, uh, the other person behind you might not have enough time, but they think that the conversation will end if they don't make it into your oh, carriage. Yeah. So they try to sneak in and every, every they hit the door and people are upset. It's just it's not that long. I'm very mm. I'm very much of the opinion I think one. I'm happy even if I'm with someone I'm happy just do one just yeah. for safety. Really? Yeah. yeah. Two, I reckon you can manage on based on the size of no, it. No, but if you're mid conversation, mm. you get in with someone else. What do you say? You have to say something in that moment uh, if you're splitting up the conversation. Yeah, no, no. I think it's just a... No, this is the thing. It's just a known moment that you step into the carriage and if they don't get there at the exact same no, moment... No, no, no. You know what this is? You guys, be honest. You've never been in an office with a revolving door, have you? I, no, I, ha- I can tell there's an immaturity about no, your views on this. I've gone through them, but not regularly enough. <laughs> okay, okay. I knew it. <laughs> I knew other it. people. No, because they because they they there are c- conventions. Okay, that well, generated. I think we can agree as a rule. I think for a rule, can yes, we have a Josh. rule. No more than two people per quadrant. Agree yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Steadfast That's agreement. That's mm. safe. Mm. But yes. what you were saying about how you touch and it stop that made me yep. think of it's almost like a roller coaster breaking down. Mm. And you know, everyone's just stuck there waiting. Like, oh God, he's done it again. Yeah, yeah. But it's someone on the roller coaster. It's their fault. That's does that's it, the equivalent. Does it just kick off again though? Like it just oh, starts yeah. again what after a few t- seconds? Or? Yeah. I think so. It, if, yeah. it's, if it's my fault. The fire brigade came. <laughs> the jaws of life to cut me out. <laughs> if it's my fault, I normally look around like I'm trying to find the person whose fault it Great. is. Great. Yeah. So mm. I'm, I'll look into the other carriages. And, did, you, did you notice And kind of look stopped? at the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Why does shocking. it do this? <laughs> do you but, know what? It's not, the, it's not the only awkward door going around, though, is it? It's not the only. And it the is other, the only one going around. Going yeah. around. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, the turnstile. The turnstile, oh, the turn, why is it called a turnstile? It's turn, a, it turns, what's the style part? It's not that turnstile, is that turn stylish? <laughs> That's the style of the turn. It's so the, the turnstile, yeah. we're generally talking the three prong. Three prong, yeah. yeah it's very yeah. violent looking. It's, yeah. it's not, so, like that could be, that could be padded, it, but it's not. It feels very much like cattle, like something that yeah. cattle would go through. Oh, maybe that's right? what it is. Or on the, the TV show Gladiators. <laughs> Just trying to yeah. get through obstacles. But, who, but I feel like the, it's, there's some ideas that you come across in life, you're kind of like... That's just the brainchild of someone coming up with a shit idea and everyone just agreeing with them. The turnstile, is it that good? Well, I guess the, I guess the whole point of the turnstile is we just need the minimum viable barrier, right? Mm. So something that people can eventually we can turn off, we can turn on, but we don't want it to be too obtrusive because I think that there's an acceptance with a turnstile that people will jump it. And mm, the repercussion really? of the the repercussion of jumping it isn't that bad. Yeah, it's that you make the train when you yeah. shouldn't have. Yeah, it's anywhere true. that's got a turnstile, here's a rule. Here's a rule. Wow. Anywhere that has a turnstile, it's probably going to be okay to breach the turnstile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not important. Not, and, not at Area Fifty One. They don't have a turnstile. You know what's crazy office. is when you go to the train station, you see the turnstile, and then you see the wall of officers behind that pulling up the people who didn't. Go through the turnstile properly. It's like, <laughs> yeah. just get a better system. Yeah. Get rid of the turnstile. Out of interest with the turnstile, are you ever just going in with your bod? <laughs> so here's the question. Mm. So generally, right, the turnstile, if we're talking about the three prong twister, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're scanning or touching something, right? Like to, to activate it, go, now you can go through. Mm-hmm. I'm, I feel I'm generally going with a hand to start the motion. Ooh. Oh, but and then you can't reach too far because then the next prong comes up and cuts you off. Yes. Yeah. So it's a really delicate balance of like a short reach, but mm. I do like to lead with the hand. Mm. You guys hands or using your thighs? I lead with the thigh. You go yeah, thigh. Really? I don't want to. T- I will never touch it with my hand. That's Ugh. a very very compelling reason not to touch it with your hands. Yeah. Well, it's disgusting because you got thousands and thousands of people yeah. touching the uh, turnstile. People's what? Thighs and hands. <laughs> no. Th- no, he's I'm, I'm happy with a thigh on thigh <laughs> hang contact. On, hang on, bare, 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 would you do a bare thigh? Would you? Yeah, shorts. In shorts, short shorts. It's bare ruggers. Oh, I'd probably go butt first if I was in short <laughs> shorts. <laughs> Just back it up. Yeah. Why? Do, I really wanted to make a joke about bare grills and his brother being bare thigh, but his brother would have the same name. <laughs> 
<laughs> adopted it's brother. Just another guy. Yeah, similar, similar first name. Um, but yeah, I feel like there are there there are. There are doors and there are doors. Yeah. So, like, I really bloody love a sliding door. Josh, well, just, what just, to, just to quickly finish up on the uh, the turnstiles, yeah, sure. the exit ones that I think look like medieval torture chambers that are like the grates that kind of pass through the other grates. Oh, my God. You know those it, it's, ones? It's like a revolving door of turnstiles. Yeah. Wait, have I even yeah. ever seen at that? Like full I think height. at the bottom of the MCG, yeah. they have, when you're walking out, it's like this. It's like this kind of meshed Turnstile, yeah. but I think but I know. Like, it's, oh, it's human yeah. height the whole way through. Terrifying, and, just, and you yes. all have to go through. It is through a it. medieval torture chamber. It's scary to go through. I'm Very always like, I need to not get crushed in this thing. Yeah, and then you get spat out the other side. Yeah, <laughs> how much effort go goes into the selection of those? Any door? I feel like, <laughs> but I feel like that one. How have they not? That's got to be have improved. Yes. since that came out, right? Yeah. Well, put some glass there. Get rid of the glass. Get rid of the stick. You reckon? Instead of the the glass revolving door is preferable to that one because at least you can see where you're going. Hang it's on, very scary. Are there glass revolving doors? There are, aren't there? Well, that's that's what do you mean? That's what. Oh, my the one, the one I was talking about. <laughs> that you yeah, the one you've got out. no experience in, but yet you're commenting on it. <laughs> Sorry, Dan, you think about sliding doors? Yeah, sliding doors. I bloody love a sliding door. I think that sliding doors... There's an argument to suggest that your whole house should be made of sliding doors. Mm. Why, well, why, not, why, why? Please make that argument. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> why, why doesn't your bedroom have a sliding door as opposed to a door that takes up all that space? That's uh, the advantage of the so sliding like door. you like hiding away into the, yeah. into the wall cavity. Yeah. Well, I don't got, need an arc on my door. It's got to be a pretty thick wall, right, to slide the door into it. Absolutely. But that, I mean, that's next week's episode. <laughs> Um, I think it's, I don't know, it's a good question because I've always found that a internal sliding door feels so flimsy. It just feels mm. like there's nothing mm. going on. You've got no real strong latch. And I feel with a normal traditional door, you've got a good latch. You've got a good lock there that really yeah. feels good and solid. The only the only sliding door that I think, and I think this is the most satisfying, mm. is the big glass outdoor one. That thud, oh, that's a good close what on a sliding think, what door. What do you think on those sliding doors, the glass doors, it's always got the Audi symbol on them. Yeah, yeah, how that's did, how did Audi get that on there? <laughs> the, I have had multiple family members walk through, Great. like walk into sliding Glass. doors without the Audi sign. Well, that's the point, right? Yeah, exactly right. So Audi should be thanked <laughs> for their contribution to doors. Why sounds, like, sounds like a rule to me. <laughs> Before you walk through a sliding door, always look to the heavens and thank Audi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I. The one sliding door that I really struggle with is the sliding door in a van. Oh, yeah. I oh, yeah. think that that is the most difficult sliding door to both open because mm. you get the click from the handle, but then it takes like the force of a thousand soldiers <laughs> yeah. to open it up. Do you know what it is? They're all different. Yeah. The, all the mechanisms are different. They're mm. all on the same track. Yes. And the older ones, everyone always goes, nah, you really have to slam it. <laughs> everyone yeah. always says that. But ah. did you have to slam it hard when it when, when it was first brought out or is it just developed to that I think stage? it just devolves, right? Gets Surely. Worse and worse. But I agree. It's they're, they're one Our old van, a Chrysler Voyager, it had, when you open it and it latched open, mm -hmm. you'd have to like pull it to unlock it uh. and then you slide it shut. Uh, and uh. people could not wrap their head around that. Jeez. They'd be going to try to pull it and, it yes. was, and it's like, no, you've got to, you've got to pull the handle to release it. You've got to pull the handle to release uh, it and then you can close imagine it. Imagine if Audis were making those big fans. That'd be a pleasure, <laughs> wouldn't they? <laughs> such an unsatisfying uh, such an unsatisfying moment in a car because with a van, sorry, because the car is the inverse. I feel like with a car door, you can uh, you can pop a little bit of finger pressure on the door <laughs> and it gives it just enough weight mm. that you can walk away and hear the door close behind you. Yeah. Geez, that's satisfying. Yes. You know, it's a tough gig. What about when you hire a car, you know, to move something, a van, a high ace or something? Mm. Those back doors, they're pretty tough, aren't they? Yeah. They've all got the lockdown mechanism and they've got, they're, they're a mess. <laughs> Not made for people like us, D, on Some, these vans. Yeah, sometimes I, sometimes, I mean, sometimes I'll just sell the car. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one I struggle with? Uh, the, the, on the sli the um, <laughs> glass sliding doors for the houses, the locks on those, mm. I... Cannot mm. understand the logic. Flick it up or flick it down because it like works in reverse in oh, terms yeah, of latching. Yeah, yeah. I never know. Mm, I, yeah. I always flick it, pull it, flick it, pull it, just to see what happens. Ooh. Do you know which? <laughs> <laughs> just to see what happens. <laughs> do you? Do you? Are you comfortable knowing nah. this is locked or this is unlocked? No, nah, but I feel like there's the, the my issue is always with the second sliding door that isn't meeting the first one. So I close it and there's just not enough distance. Mm. I'm like, why isn't this closing? Yeah. And you always yeah. have to grab the second door and pull it in a little bit tighter. Doors are also quite difficult to repair. 
They're impossible. Like there's a whole. There's I've a never ho- tried. Like because it's a mixture of a, of carpentry and locksmithery. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's really hard. Like if you got a door, like you got to you got to sort it all out. There's so many contact points. But I think one of the hardest things is like you've got a you've got a door. It's not closing properly. But if it's got a draft coming underneath, oh agony! It's shocking. Yeah. And that's when you got to get a snake. <laughs> You gotta get a door snake or yeah. draft. They call them draft stoppers. Oh, draft really? excluders, I think. Draft excluders. Yeah. Do you have a draft excluder? Um, Do you have one growing up? I should up? have one. We have one in our living room. I yes. should have one in my bedroom. Yeah. We had, yeah, we had one really heavy duty, just like sand, pretty much. We used to beat each other with it. As wow, in my actually, family. Oh, just for fun. So, we, it was quite, yeah, me, and my brothers, we me and my or brothers. your parents used no, no, to beat no, you no. with it. Me and my brothers for fun. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> But they're, they're, but you have to move them every time you want to open the door. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's but it was great. only on the, on the outdoor when you're going out. And you're not going out the back much when it's winter, are you? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it stops the draft. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but then you can get the you ones that are convinced. attached. We were talking about the little um, moustache. Yeah, those oh, yeah. little attached But is that a draft ones. stopper? I thought Surely. it was just a style, stylistic oh, just a, choice just for the door. So, so do you know what? It's a 70s door. I tried to buy a draft stopper, which is like one of the metal ones that you like screw onto the bottom of my back door. Mm. There are so many different types of those. You got to get it exactly right for the door. It depends on the surface. It depends on the really? width of the door. Yeah, Ugh. I fucked it up, and I've still <laughs> yeah. got it. And patchworkers, if you want a door stopper, head to our socials, and you might see it next week. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question for you. Yes, what's your favourite door? You you like the car door, Christian? Or uh, yeah, I like the car door. It's very presumptuous think- of you, Josh. Oh, no, he said because he likes the, the no look walk away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, nice. Car explodes it's, yes. and the door closes. Yeah. <laughs> I think my favourite door though exists on public transport, oh. and it's the tram door where you press the button. And that it's like a spaceship. The door just automatically opens, mm. and then watching that door close as well. Mm. There's a real like a safety and a security to seeing the locking oh. mechanisms come into you place. I know you know which and bit it is. It's the seam that disappears. It's, it's the, the last bit, bit. It's the bit when it closes and then it pulls in. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. god. Because it comes together and then pulls it's into secure. the car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. Yeah, That's my very, favorite door. It is very nice. Josh, your favorite door? Um, <laughs> I, I think what I really like <laughs> is a. I like a screen door. With a really good pneumatic closer. Oh, that's wow. That's very light and easy. So you walk through it, swing it open, don't yep. think twice, and then it's like... Oh. And, then, and then do perfect weight that it just latches. Is oh. it? It just latches on mm. the end. Oh. Oh. God. Hydraulics, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I think also have really strong uh, imagery of summer with that that sound. Yeah. And that, those kind of things. So I do like that. Yeah. Well, my, my favorite door has a similar summer theme, and that's a good solid fly screen door. Oh. And, and I like a, a good tough metal mm. and then oh god that feels good when you close it mm. you yeah all it's, the little it's, bugs in just not fly the fly screen is underrated nah is it underrated <laughs> in your- it's accurately rated oh sorry no no it's extra i agree with you Christian. <laughs> sorry it's because, extremely underrated because not only is it a door so it provides some degree of security yeah it keeps out unwanted insects but also lets the draft in on a hot day yeah i mean you've just described a, a, <laughs> a, fly, screen. a fly screen but let's just take a moment to reflect <laughs> Well, the ultimate fly screen, really, is the shitty plastic th- hanging things at the milk bar. Oh, God. Aren't they terrible? Yes. Hang on, hang on, hang Aren't on. They yes. terrible? No, 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 no. Is that uh, just what it's for? The plastic octopus at a super that's milk not, bar. That's not its only purpose, is it? Yeah, that's to stop bug flies there's and got, stuff no, getting in. There's got to be something else. It's so you can have the door open so people can just walk through it, mm. but bugs and stuff don't get in, 100%. But how, how effective is it? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Many, many patches ago, we did an impression of Tim the Toolman Taylor's grunt at the end of the home improvement theme. And since then, we've been finding inanimate objects or unique things in our environment that we like to try doing an impression of. This week, we will do the impression of a can of soft drink opening. Now, it's a very familiar sound to the classic, three of us. Classic, really? I'd call it a classic sound. It is a classic sound. And it's the sound of summer. <laughs> but, it, but it's a sound that people do not try to impersonate because there is no real impression of that, is there? <laughs> no. Until now. Until now. Uh, as is common courtesy, Josh, <laughs> <laughs> do you mind going first? Yeah, sure, sure. I'll kick us off. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Whoa! There you go. Uh, it's that a bit, it's, a bit, it's a bit too much to, pressure. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah it's high. highly pressurized. To me, yeah, yeah. to me, it sounded like putting a an envelope in one of those those 
delivery systems that run throughout a, bil- <laughs> yeah. a building. Yeah. And it goes, yeah. Or it can, or, different ways do it. Or yeah. can through it. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, I agree. Uh, not my best work. Let me, I'll, uh, I'll give it a little crack. Crack it open for us, would you? Okay. Hey, pour us a cold one, <clears throat> Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Coming right up, Dion. <laughs> What? Uh, no, do you know <laughs> what? That's a tiny pneumatic robot. <laughs> and, and, Christian, did you practice it? No. no that way. sounded practiced. That no, sounded no, practiced. No, no, just all the steps. Badly I was executed. imagining cracking the can and then the sound. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was in the moment. Dion? Mm. Oh, he was, he I, was thinking of doing <laughs> the, I was thinking at the end of doing that. <laughs> you should have. Yeah. You would have taken the victory. Would I have? No I think way. so. If you did the tss. No, there was no, en- there was no carbonated think, energy to that. I think it's safe to say that we have all failed. Ah, I in- reckon I was pretty good. Oh, Josh. If, I think if you go back nah. and listen, you're not. Yeah, you'll be embarrassed. So no one won? No one no won. One we got to give it to someone. All right. We all agree that Christian was the best this time uh, around. That means you have to give it to me, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Can I give it one more go? Speed round. Speed. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so we Josh, we're done. We're done. We're done. <laughs> I recently got a brand new uh, key ring, and for my keys to keep all my one of those little uh, leather ones that keeps your keys together. Orbit key. Orbit key. There we go. Mm-hmm. Because I have notorious for having a big bunch of keys, really? but I don't have a lot of keys. It's the things that I have on there that mm. is a lot. Oh. So on my key ring, I have a big uh, key lanyard, a Red Bull key lanyard. Wait, this is pre, this is pre orbit. This is what I have currently. Oh, wow. Okay. So I have that. Yep. I have a little bottle opener. Little, yep. Um, and then I also have my car key and then a few house keys. Yep. And, then, and those house keys in the orbit thing. And it keeps it a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. So, that's two novelty items. I don't know. I wouldn't call the bottle opener a novelty because it's quite... It gets okay. used. Okay. I feel mm. that's functional and useful. Mm. It, and it's not too big. But the lanyard, I get a lot of sideways looks about that. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like it because it gives my keys weight and heft and makes them very easy to find and easy to spot. The easy to find and spot, I think, is a very, very compelling reason to have the lanyard. The thing about the bulk, I don't know why you'd want something more bulky in your mm. pocket. Now, Dion, Josh says lanyard. And when you think <laughs> lanyard, you think thin strip of material. Absolutely. Josh's lanyard is like a thick piece of rope and it Do has I- like a, a brass buckle. Yeah, it's got a clip, like a, um, you know, the clips you use to secure the, a backpack the, or something. Oh, the a, same a carabiner. Have, no, 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 no. Like you'd wear... On your belt, like a belt buckle, the same size. No, it's not. It sounds like a it's belt. Enormous. It's enormous. No, it's like the thing you'd fasten your um, seat travel belt. backpack. Your travel backpack. Yes. You clip those together. Red oh, waist. yes, 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 it's yes. It's one of those. Buckle. It's thick. Yeah. Oh. oh, I know the one. Yeah, yeah. I've seen this. You've had this for a long time. Yes, yes, a very long time. I think it's great. So your argument is, Josh, that you have to have something like that on your keychain. Because it's easier to find. Yes, it makes it very clear when I chuck my keys somewhere. Also, one of the best things for it mm. is rummaging around in my backpack. Mm-hmm. So much easier to find my keys. Uh, I just grab that. Yeah, compelling. What do you reckon, Chris? I think that if you're going to rock <laughs> a a fat keychain, yeah, pH fat, Josh, yep. you need to stop carrying keys in your pockets. You huh? need to find some other way to carry your keys around. You need to bring a tote with you. What? You, you but have it's fine in my pocket. Josh, all of the things in your pockets are too big. Your your really? wallet is enormous. Yeah. Your uh, keychain's too big. Have you noticed this, Christian? Well, he's been saying he's oh. been complaining about the size of them. Well, I don't really carry my wallet out anymore. Like the only time yeah. it comes out is when I go out. Otherwise it sits in my bag. It, it's it's just we're at the point in this world where you've We've got to get rid of keys and wallets, right? Well, We're how, almost there. Well, what's on your key ring then? So, sure. my key ring, I've got an Orbit key as well, yep. which helps organize my keys. Yep. And I've got the car key and then a little novelty Bialetti mocha pot, right? Why? Why do I have that? It's a good question. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then people go, oh, that's cute. Can and I the, have and a- that feels nice. Well, yeah, that's what I say about my lanyard all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I don't think I need it. And the more I reflect on it, the more I go, you don't need this. Mm. Key, key rings are an interesting thing because they are, for, for most of the time, they're useless. 
the useless things. Yeah. And it's like some little personality thing you put on your keys. Because I used to have a while ago, I used to have a little Lego Yoda that was a little torch. Oh, uh, yeah. It was fucking huge. <laughs> and it really was way too much. And this, I'm like, this is way too big. How long did you have it on there years, for? That's years. Really Lost funny. an arm, all this kind of shit. Did it ever really come in handy, the torch? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like it was, you'd use your phone, but instead, you know, when you're getting your keys out, you've already got them out. You've got a Yoda. Yeah. So yeah. you've got your little Yoda there to, to light the way. But it, mm. that was way too big. I'm like, if I'm ever going to have a keychain, thing after that i think i eliminated all like cute little fun key i could have one from my high i had yeah. one from my high schools yes a little, little round one what how about yours dion well mine is a similar similar sort of brand with the with you know combining all the keys together and i try and keep it really really light but the thing that i've got on mine that might be of interest to you is josh you're talking about like finding your keys and it's, mm-hmm. i lose my keys all the time Got a little air tag on there. Of course. Ah. And then you just you just call you just dial it up. And I reckon I use that and thing. Steve Jobs comes over and finds your keys. And, it's, <laughs> and, and he is brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> um, but I reckon every two days. Like, you like the air tag? Yep. It's wow. get, I get my money's worth. Heaps. Wow. So you don't have a spot that you always put your keys? Nah. This is like this is this, this, this is, is this is you? this is mine comf. <laughs> this, is my, this is my battle. <laughs> my, what is it? My my struggle. Um, uh, <laughs> so with your keys, though, with the actual key keys, what keys do we all have on our key? So I've got front door key mm-hmm. and yep. like uh, another key related to my house. I just, can't remember just which to one. tie this all in, they're all door keys. Yeah, all for which doors. Which is beautiful. There yeah. are. Oh, yeah. And then I got ones to my parents' home. Yeah. They're, they're my only like proper key keys. Why, why is there. your parents? Why Just put that somewhere else. And then put it on. But I wouldn't. Tough. But sometimes I've got it. I've got it gone. P- put it in your car. That's what I do with mine. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think I would ever be over there. That's yes. Um, oh, that's a rule. It's a rule. Oh wow. If you are uh, have <laughs> <laughs> go again. <laughs> Always keep your parents' keys <laughs> in your car instead of on your key ring. That's it. Yeah. You ha- have to do that. Yeah. You have good. to do that. I like that. But the only thing is that when you got to remember to return it when you come back from your par- out of your parents' place. You've got to return it back to the car. Into the car. Oh, that's yeah, a great yeah, point. Because yeah. you're yeah. likely to put it in your bag so or something. What other keys, key keys? Well, I don't need a lot of keys because I put a lock on my on my house that is fingerprint. So I've, I can get in my house just with a fingerprint. Don't need keys to enter or exit wow. my house. That's pretty great. It's absolutely brilliant. But you do need to bring your fingers everywhere. That's oh, true. What a shame. No, but I just put them on my key ring and I'm fine. <laughs> and so what are you wearing off your fingers, Dion? <laughs> How about you, Christian? What's, what key keys do you have? Uh, I've got all the same, right? I've got my mum's place. I've got my place. I've got um, my car keys. And that's it. Mm. So there's no like cool weird keys? No, no. I don't have many cool weird work places keys? to go. Would you, would you combine yes. the work key God. with the personal key ring? Does worst, that happen? The worst thing about having to carry your work key around is often it's a proprietary key, which won't fit on an Orbit key. It's a Fat. But I'm saying yeah. you, you combine the work key. <laughs> you combine the work key with the personal key ring. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How about you, Dion? Have you ever combined? I have. I have combined. What else would one? No, nah, I keep them separate. Why? Because I my work keys can only come in when I'm going to work. I don't want it. I don't want. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Personal Josh. Professional. Exactly. Josh. Wait, where's yeah. the logic then with your huge wallet? You should. You need. Josh needs a secondary wallet for going out. That's what you need. Josh needs a tote bag. I Josh doesn't could, need a tote. I think you could Stop get... Stop trying to shill for big tote. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Why do you object so much to a tote bag? I don't want more bags. You could look no, like you, It's one bag I to rule think- them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, to explain the tote. Sell the tote to me. Okay. So, I... And I've been trying to get myself into, uh, into oh, totes for okay. years, which I still haven't. But I think it, if you want to free up your pockets, put get yourself a tote. I used to see a friend of mine do this all the time. He had a tote bag. It was great. Wallet. Keys. Phone, yeah. water bottle, and some like tissues in there. It, what you'd normally have in a backpack? Yeah, that's like kind of everything I have in my backpack. Oh, great! So, what, so why do you have backpack. anything ever in your pocket? Um, because it's uh, convenient to get to at that moment, and right. I don't want to take my backpack everywhere. Yeah, he's not going to go mm. out at night nah. and take his backpack. No. Well, I still think Josh, you should try a tote, see how it fits. Have we give it a go? Because the wallet, I do find that. It has a lot of keys in it, but I never... Sorry, a lot of uh, cards in it, yes. but I never use them. But they're always there because I, that's where they live. You need right. a scale down wallet. So, if we look over here at my bag in the studio, Ooh. you see my wallet there. It's a very interesting design. I've got four cards in there. I've also got a fucking air tag on there. He's got one as well. Yeah, I just... I lose this shit all the time. I just need, <laughs> wow. I just need an instant solution. That's great. I've got enough frustration in my life already. I don't need it from... 
losing my keys and but I, I f- I'm just worried because both your wallets are very slim. You've got the solution, right? Yeah. I I want it to be visible to be seen. You've got the air tag on it. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Would so you, you consider that as an option? Uh, nah. Really? No, nah, I wouldn't. Tech like, is the solution, really. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm, I'm like, you're old. To school. be honest, I could downscale everything in my pockets, and mm. life would go on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. But are you such a traditionalist with all? Like, would you, if you could have a fingerprint entry to your house, mm. would you have that? Uh, hey, hang on. Let me prime you. There's no downside to it. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Great. sure. <laughs> what if he burns his finger? I mean, <laughs> it doesn't mean it. There's a, there's a backup touchpad. What, but what I would be worried of then is koalas breaking into my house. Oh, oh and that happens that's all right. the time in the series, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here at Welcome to Patchwork, giving you that instruction manual to life. We also like to increase your vocabulary. And that's why we have Patchword of the Day. And Christian, if you want to kick us off with your patchword of the day. Thank you, Josh. Marcus was jumping on the trampoline. <laughs> As he continued to bounce higher and higher, he called out to his dad to watch. Dad, watch how high I can get, he <laughs> shouted. His dad ignored him. And after only a short time, Marcus had bounced so high that he penetrated the upper reaches of Earth's <laughs> atmosphere and no longer had enough gravitational pull to return home. He was now in orbit. <laughs> The patchword of the day is orbit. <laughs> and Dion, your patchword of the day. Time was nearly up for Bryce and Cynthia. They had owned Pets Megastore for 30 years, but the business couldn't compete with low-cost online retailers. They had loyal customers, but their numbers were dwindling. It was time to have a chat with the staff. On the last Friday in October, <laughs> they gathered all their staff members into a room. You could hear a pin drop. Suddenly, one of the oldest employees, Pamela, pointed to the ceiling and in a concerned voice said, I think you might have... Asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> the bas- patch of the day is... Asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Uh, I've got patch of the day as well. <clears throat> Richard was fresh out of uni and ready to change the world. As he put the finishing touches on his first article as a paid graduate, he couldn't be happier. With a click of the mouse, his article... The top 10 things your houseplants say about you shot off to his editor. He leant back in his chair and thought to himself, now that's... Journalism. <laughs> the patchwork of the day is... Journalism. So I was at the pub last week and I was with a group of friends and we'd finished our meal, we'd paid on our way out. So we approached the door to exit and... I was first at the door, so I opened it up and held it for the rest of my friends, who then passed through. Immediately following this group of friends was another group, and they passed through. I was still holding the door open. They didn't pick it up. They didn't pick it up, but as they were making their way through the door, there was another group coming through the entrance, (laughs) and there was a bit of a traffic jam. Is this why you're late to recording? (laughs) And and while they were negotiating, oh, you come through, blah, blah, blah. I was still there holding the door open for everyone. Now, are you still, are you holding the door for people? At what point do I stop holding the door there and and say, you know what? This isn't my responsibility. Yeah, mm. it's not your fault at all. It is entirely up to the first person, the second group. Yeah. They need to take on. Uh-huh. They take the they door take off, it me, off right? The they don't just change. shoot through. Yeah, there needs to be a bat and change. Yeah, yes. the door change. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so is, uh, do you feel compelled still To be polite? Or did you ever feel compelled? Because I feel like I was raised to, Mm. when I see a door, hold it open for someone or let someone through first. It's really, I feel like holding the door open, it's a a courtesy thing. It's not a practical thing. It's not doing, 90% of the time Uh, when I'm holding a door open, I'm not doing that much. I don't know. It's more the eye contact and the courtesy, isn't it? I feel like Mm. leaving the pub with the friends and you're the first out, I think holding it for everyone is great. Yeah. But you know what what you've probably done, Christian, what would normally be happening is say say it swings out to your left and using your left hand, yep. you just do enough and then let the person directly behind you pick it up. I'm imagining yeah. you spun around. Yes, I and did. And held it. I spun and That's held. That's your problem. Yeah, but then I became the de facto doorman. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, but but like you said, the baton, I couldn't believe when the first person from the second group just blew past me. Yeah. It's an interesting point. Is it like that swinging around thing? Maybe there's a problem with your f- with your foot movement. Yeah. Maybe I, you need to I practice do think it's that my a technique. Bit. Yeah, it's, it's, a te- it's a technique thing. I, I, I've, I've retreated too much. And, and I think 
I was too polite. Mm. And I remember growing up, my mum used to enforce all the time at every single door. <laughs> she'd hold me back and she'd say, I'll go first. You let me yeah. through. Wow. Yeah. Right? That happened for years and years. So, it got, it got really entrenched in my mind yeah. that you let other people walk ahead of you. Mm. But, but is that mother or is that woman? Well, it, it's, it became or is it everyone. Elder, right? It became everyone. Was the intention for everyone? Uh, yeah, of little Christian was always last through the door. Yeah, well, I don't know. I guess I got confused because she pulled me up so often that I, I just I ended up letting every single person. I through. reckon that's uh, I'm your mother. Yes, and probably other women. I so, reckon. So, so it was. And years ago, I tried this. Not tried. I was just doing it, and then I got told off, and was Why? told by who? By the person who I was oh. letting through the door first. They were. They said. I can get my own door, thank you very much. Oh, and this is the thing. This is the thing I was going to raise, that there's this association, maybe when I was growing up, that it's a chivalrous thing to do. Yeah. But I'm really conscious of that now because if I'm opening, I'll just say, if I'm opening the door for a woman, I don't want to I don't want to bring back that yeah. whole but chivalry. I, like, they need... No, they don't. But women I think, don't need I think that, what you'd probably both find yourself doing is you just do it for anyone. Right? Yes, yes, yes. And yes. it's not about it being a woman or a man. No, or, but or even anything. but when you do it for a woman, I feel like oh, you know, maybe they don't want me doing this bullshit patriarchal thing that's been done for ages. Yeah. Yes. I, I think at, at a very basic level, though, it's just politeness to let anyone through first. Like yes. if I'm in a group of friends. Often there'll be that moment of the door when you kind of bunch up a bit and I'll let other people through. But mm-hmm. I'll weave my way through. Say there's a group of five, you'll find your way through somewhere in the middle. But generally, if I'm on par with someone, I'll try and indicate to let them to go through first. How much of a thank you are you expecting? None. No, it's, it's not big enough. Christian, it's not big enough. You're what, you want a bloody thank you, don't you? I'd want a bloody thank From you. From who? From God. the second group, let's say, or yeah. the first, my friends. Let's 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 the strip, person you let through. Strip I, it back. I, what about you? Just walk either a door, and you see someone's coming just behind you, and you really do make that effort. Do you want to thank you from them? Yeah, you surely, get, right. It, it doesn't have to be something big. Just a nod. Just a cheers. Like a little cheers, mate. Oh, it's lovely. But that <laughs> that. But if you can't do that in the world around us, you're fucked. <laughs> well, which bit? Open Just a door. Just saying, oh, cheers, mate. You. Yeah, it's Acknowledging that someone did something oh, for yeah. you. Yeah, I'll yeah. give the thank. I'll give a decent thank on a door hold. Yep. Thanks, mate. But cheers. W- but what about if someone's letting you through first? Um, do you turn I around? Think, I do, think do, inherently do you, do, you do. you look over your shoulder and go, cheers? Nah, it's because you'll be on par, right? It's a sideways look and a, a little, like, mm. yeah. little mm. eyebrow raise. I think, I think inherently... I wouldn't actively do it, but I think it would just ingrained, it would occur. Yeah. But just to go back to the door holding, the, mm-hmm. the, one of the problems is in terms of waiting for the next person, there is that key distance where they're close yes. enough to grab yes. it. Yes. Yes. They're too far they're too far away that this will safely close. Yep. If they're in that middle distance of it is closing on them, yes. you're stuffed. No, but if you're in a good mood, you'll you'll wait you'll be happy yeah, waiting happy there for waiting. ages. Happy waiting. But if you're like, but sometimes you have to feign that you've seen them, don't you? And you just walk through that door. Do you sometimes do that? And then just just completely... Yeah, just let the door close and then or they have to open it. I think, is that the true I, test? The true test is if you walk through a door and that door closes completely and then the next person opens it, then you didn't then need safe. it. Then you're yeah, safe. Then you're I think safe. So. Yeah. Even, if it's, even if it's momentary, uh, I yep. think you're safe. Yep. I don't know. Even if the door is kind of three quarters of the way closed and then the other person gets there, I think if you, really? if you look motivated... If you have a look of ambition in your face and you don't look back... <laughs> and that is such an attractive thing, isn't it? Seeing someone like, close a door with ambition. It is like that gentle close of the car door. You just keep walking and you hear it close behind you. Don't oh, look. Don't Trust. Look. Wait, could you do this? I always look. <laughs> yeah, I always look as well. I have to look. Yeah. What if I didn't close it properly? <laughs> so, just with going through, the, say, the pub or whatever, have you ever got the, the rock got it wrong? The push or the pull? Oh, God. Oh, what's I that am, moment like? I reckon 80% of the time I get push or pull wrong. Yeah. Always. I don't understand. Because yeah. my instinct is to always, I think, when I see a door, is to push out. Yeah. Well, How well, about you, Dion? Yeah. Like, it's difficult. Why does a door, if a door consistently <laughs> have, <laughs> going back to way earlier in the episode, why does a door have, a ha- have the same handle on each side? So, here's a juicy oh. little fact for you. You getting the door wrong all the time, it's not your fault, guys. <gasps> oh, really? It's not your fault. Okay. It's called a Norman door. This guy called Don Norman, who's like a famous design guy, oh. coined the term for a door. Like, functionally, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't tell the user how to use it. Yeah. So, you're right, Dion. 
If it has a panel, yeah. your brain goes, I pull. should pull this. Yeah. If you want people to push it, have a flat thing. Yeah. You know the, the flat ones you have oh, in hospitals absolutely. and stuff? Absolutely. Always pushing that. Oh. So it is totally a Norman door, and that it's that's the issue that they've designed the door poorly. Norman door. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> What what did Norman what what else did Norman Door um uh, specifically that's his name? What else I wonder what Google else he it, invented. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was just a famous design guy. But it's so fascinating. Now after learning about that, every time I see someone get a door wrong or I notice a door, and there was one, our venue at Comedy Fest, the Motley Bauhaus, House, oh. the guy was saying, the Jason who ran it, he was like, Oh, everyone always gets the door wrong. And I looked at it. And it had, um, you know, like the door handles, the Raptors open in Jurassic Park, just little, yes. little ones, yes. yeah, little yeah. flat ones, you of sort course. of open like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it had those, but it also had bar- vertical bars on it. Oh, how mm. confusing. And so what it was is you were meant to push the door with that handle down the bottom. Yeah. But because of the bars, everyone went to pull it. Yeah. Oh. And I said to him, I was like, oh, it's got a bit of a Norman door there, Jason. And, and, he, and he, I explained it. He's like, you know what? You're absolutely right. Everyone sees that and does the same thing every time they come through. Yeah. Josh, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> and take Norman with you. <laughs> but I love I love that feeling of knowing when the door when you get the door wrong, yeah. that they've done a poor job of implementing that. Door. Yeah, great. Mm. Okay. I also think that part of it is my fault because I'll often encounter the issue and then moments later look down and see push or pull written there. Design the door better. Or, don't just don't just or, put a or sign pay on more it. attention to the door. Right, nah, you have to respect you, the you state. To, what are you meant to be looking at the eaves? And the, I like- just think that every door <laughs> demands respect. <laughs> okay, so when that you're like approach- a rule to me, <laughs> oh, it's so dumb. every single door <laughs> demands respect. <laughs> when you're approaching a door, have a look at what state it's in. Okay, mm. is it a little bit ajar? Mm. Is it fully closed? Is it open? Yeah, I like it. The, you you need. To, does it say push? Does it say pull? What kind of handle has it got? Does it require a, a heavy I, knock, I a love, light knock? I, think, I love your assessment of. <laughs> is this door open? <laughs> I can't quite tell. This big airy space I can see through. No wonder everyone's walking in ahead of me because oh, I take five on. seconds. There's an Audi symbol. <laughs> Back off, Christian. You touched on something. The yeah. knock. The knock on a door. Yep. What's your What's your technique? How many How many oh, knuckles are you using? I used to do this a lot when I was doing Oz Post. Oh. It, it really hurts your knuckles. It yeah. worked for a while, doing it a lot. Are you doing a forward knock or a backwards knock? Yeah. Ha- I, a palm facing or palm but away? But you're still going knuckles. You want knuckles though, Dion. What else uh, can one do? Uh, oh, you, wrist. If you make a, like a mantis with your two, with your index and middle finger, I do that and get the two knuckles, two okay. first knuckles. What? There. I get a two prong. A little two prong. If you're attack. watching this on the YouTube video, you'll get an idea of what I'm doing. Knock, that knock, knock. That is bizarre. <laughs> that, that looks really weird. So what I got to do... Is the pound? So you just rotate your oh. fist and use the flat, the fat party of your small finger, wow. and just a bit of a pound. It's very on the police door. officer, isn't it? It is, and there's no way to not sound intimidating ha- when you're doing. Yeah, I'm supposed to got a package <laughs> for you, especially if you're screaming at them. Yeah, how many thuds? Uh just a few, three or four, maybe three or four. Wow. But yeah, because you start Jeez, doing it with your knuckles, start doing Josh. your knuckles. You can't get it loud enough unless you're really hurting yourself. Christian. So then, what you need is you need a key. Sorry, a ring. You need a ring on your finger. Wow. Oh, you do need why, a key to get it. Key that. Is that why people wear rings? That is the only reason people wear rings. Christian, oh. are you doing a patterned knock when you're going over to a friend's place? Has it got an interesting pattern to the to uh, rhythm no, to it? No, I don't think of like a da, 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 da. Nothing like that. I think it's just a double knock because I, how did that get so famous? The, that, that pattern? That the, pattern. And then the, the return comes back, the knock from the inside. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But where, where do you reckon that came? Is that a song? Yes. It's gotta be right. Yeah, it'd be a, it'd be a drum beat of sorts, right? Oh no, no, no. that's da, 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 da. is that think, the same beat? I think Don Norman composed it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Is that <laughs> fucking idiot, Don Norman? <laughs> <laughs> You're ruining everyone's knuckles. <laughs> but yeah, I reckon I reckon just like two or three, no, no, no particular pattern, unless I'm in a like a fun, fun mood. Yeah, then maybe give it a little song, little so, song. Or so quite rare then. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it mainly depends if I know the person is within earshot. Yeah, because if they're at the back of the house, you're like, I just need to. There's this a purpose. This to message this. needs to cut through. <laughs> yeah, but in that in that instance, I reckon I'm no longer knocking. I'm going straight for the phone. You know, and what? then knocking on that. Well, you know what is you know what is good for a knock? A good screen door that rattles a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can give yes. that a good hit, and that's <laughs> another advantage of the fly screen. 
Oh, yes, that's very true. Yeah. What about those latches? You know those 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 locks on old houses that sort of just hit up against the door. You know, you you can you can grab it. It's made of metal. Oh, the door knocker. Mm. The door knocker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Hang on. Are you? The They're latch. pathetic. Are it you looks ca- like the little thing at the back of your throat. <laughs> <laughs> No, the door knockers are good. No, but are you holding on to that all the way to the door or are you just releasing? Are you pulling Ooh, back and releasing? Yeah. Oh, you got you got to hit it yourself. I think yeah. you do, but I'm always very tentative because you never know how loud it's going to be. Well, you do want it to ring out. So you almost want to bounce it off the door, don't you? Do you I, want it to ring out? I just it, don't, you can't I, ring out a wooden door, can you? Oh, but you it's like metal. It. It's metal, generally. The door knocker. I, I, I don't think I've I've encountered these enough in the wild mm. to participate in this conversation. Okay. Well, maybe we can go door knocking. <laughs> But, but Josh, do you ever find that you're walking into a door a- and assessing the state that it's in? You know, a little bit open, a little bit closed? Um, generally, like within my house, like I'll assess my housemate's door- bedroom doors. Yeah. Yes. And I feel wide open means they're definitely not there or it's if you want to have a chat, come and say hi. Mm-hmm. Yep. Slightly ajar, it means mm. I'm in there, but maybe I'm like doing something. I'm kind of busy, yeah. And fully closed is like back off. So a slight, slightly ajar door when you're not sure if someone's inside or not. How do you approach that? Because a knock could see the door yes. open up a little. Yeah, right? I don't think you're knocking. I think I just go a verbal. Yeah, it's a verbal. Uh, That's verbal. what I was thinking. Yeah, you verbal them. <laughs> I, I pair, I pair the verbal with a hand inside. Inside? No, no, no. You, no, you're no not eyes, right. threshold. Eyes, eyes aren't inside. Do not. I don't, Hey, Why are you listen, crossing that threshold? Uh, because if they have their headphones on, they can see a, oh. a hand come in, shaking oh. and waving. He's pretty I'm, good. I'm, He's pretty good, isn't I'm he? I'm approachable. I'm waving with my hand. Slash they could be threatened by this hand just appearing in their vision. <laughs> That's no, it's always a verbal. It's a verbal first and hey, then a hand. Or a, a verbal first, I do no a verbal. response, go hand. I'm going to so. go verbal, then a knock. Yeah, I'm never, I'm never crossing the threshold without verbal communication. A knock communication. is implicitly crossing the threshold because the door mm. starts to move. Well, I knock in the very inside bit that still hasn't gone through yeah, the door. Yeah, yeah, okay. But it's all about... No, it's, I reckon a knock... A knock is... It's genius, a knock, because it's not intrusive. Yes. You can ignore it's, a knock. It's, it's inquisitive. It's inquisitive, exactly. Whereas an a, internal door... No- that sounds like a rule to me. Okay. An internal door knock is inquisitive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rule? Yeah. That's a rule. <laughs> God, sorry, are you going to say there? Uh, I can't remember what I it was going to say. It is questioning. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very it's, polite. It, it's questioning, whereas you're... I don't think you've got any right to put anything in front of someone's eyes when their door's ajar. <laughs> What do you mean? I'm not looking though. Get a little flag. No, so you're, but you're you interrupting their inv- vision. I'm interrupting their vision. Yeah, I'm trying to get their attention. So what you're trying to do with knocking, right? A visual interruption is way more dramatic than audio interruption. I think that if I came in like clicking, <laughs> like a sexy click, that might be in, in a bit interrupting. Oh, I'm behind that. Do, yeah. do you knock in a toilet cubicle? Even if it's even if it's green, do you do a little? Because I do a poke under the. I do you, a poke. Oh, under I, the, fuck, I want to see I, feet. I put my hand over the top and wave. <laughs> What I do Is someone in there? <laughs> I do in the same motion If I'm pretty co- confident it's clear But it's still kind of ajar mm. A knock as I push it open Knock knock oh, Just to wow. give them the chance Give them the chance That if they do need to hold it shut We'll end, we'll end on this I want to ask you Ever preferencing a knock Over pushing a doorbell Is a doorbell always the, 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 the key to enter? The doorbell is fine So long as you can hear the doorbell Mm. That's the caveat. I'll always ah, start with tough. a doorbell and I listen out for it. Yeah. The only time, Dion, that I will preference a knock over a doorbell mm. is if it's past 8.30 p.m. Oh, oh, good one. What about, what about, I like a window knock. A window knock can sometimes Jesus be very Christ, effective. that's terrifying. I've got a rule. Only use a doorbell if it's before 8.30 p.m. It's a good one. Only. I could get behind that. Me too. Thanks, Dion. No problem. Get to bed. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to another episode of Welcome to Patchwork. We learnt a lot today. We, we're oh. learning more and more every week. Oh, it's getting absolutely. It's getting a bit overwhelming and I'm feeling anxious about it. Well, and it's time to really... Josh, what did we learn today? I think one of the big takeaways was no more than two people going through the revolving door. That was very important. Yeah, and I think we established as well that it's a carriage. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that it was a carriage. And, and also, yeah. I think, Josh, that you should be prepared to try a tote bag. Uh, I think a tote bag or just cut down on the accoutrements around my keys and wallet. I think we, we established the metrics and the physics behind if you're letting people into the, you know, behind you. There's got to be a baton change. There's got to be. There's got to be some kind of baton change. That is the fundamental rule from this episode. If you see someone holding a door that isn't from your group, 
take take the baton. Yeah. Help them out. Take yeah. ownership. Stop yeah. being so millennial about it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we've got social media. And my God, is it hotting up there, isn't it? Mm. We've got all... Our, our podcast is on YouTube. Mm. It's yes. uh, The video is on YouTube. Certainly. We spent a shitload of money on this. <laughs> the least you can do... Is get on there and have a look. See our, you know, some of our beautiful faces. Subscribe and ring the bell. Yes. We've also got Facebook, we've got Instagram, we've got TikTok, we've got Twitter, all the big names. Mm. All the big names. One of the other big names we've got is we've got Patreon. Mm -hmm. Josh, what are we gonna what are we gonna be discussing on Patreon this week? So the Patreons obviously get the bonus, the bonus patch in the off week. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the different doors within the home <laughs> uh. and what the state of those doors communicates. Oh, yeah. that's so the important. bathroom door. That ajar, that open, that close. What does that mean? But that sounds like better content than the main. <laughs> yeah, main I mean, yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> That's worth five dollars a month, in my opinion. Or even yeah. a couple bucks a month. Sling us oh. some money, helps the show carry on. And as we do every week, we sew a new patch into our quilt of life. Josh, what patch did you sew in our quilt of life this week? Thank you, Dion. My patch this week was me relieving Christian from holding the pub door by jamming it open with my massive wallet. <laughs> 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 Christian, what patch did you sew this week? Thank you, Josh. This week I sewed into my patch me with headphones on, holding the door open for a group of insects who had been sexy clicking their fingers <laughs> outside the fly screen. <laughs> <laughs> And Dion, what did you sew into your patch this week? My patch this week is Josh taking out Christian's advice by attaching a tote bag to his keychain and putting the whole contraption in his pants pocket. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Welcome to Patchwork for another week. I've been Dion. I've been Josh. And I've been Christian. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.